I'm gonna give you all the secrets to throw 18 meters at the age of 18, and we're gonna start right now. What's up everybody, it's Dave Miller from throwsuniversity.com and if this is your first time to the channel and you love throwing, you wanna improve your glide technique, you wanna enhance the, your rotational movement in the shot put spin and in the discus, make sure you like, you subscribe, and you ring that notification bell so that we can help you become a champion. So we get asked over and over again at Throws University, Dane, I wanna throw 60 feet, how can I make it happen? Dane, I wanna transition well to that heavy shot. I wanna throw the heavy shot 18 meters. How can I make that happen? And over and over and over again, we try and provide a glimpse into what it takes to get to that 18 meter mark at a young age so that you can transition really, really well to that power five conference at the NCAA division one level. And what we've done over the last five years is we've developed one of the biggest studs in the United States, and that is Jeff Klein. So Jeff came to us in the first year that he was throwing, he threw 37 feet with a 12 pound shot. And over those last five years, Trevor Stutzman, our assistant coach at Throws University, has developed him to throw 65 feet with the 12 pound shot and 18 meters with the 16 pound shot at the age of 18. But how did we do it? How did Trevor develop him? How did Jeff put out that crazy amount of effort? And how did he become such a beast at such a young age? So we've got five key aspects and we're gonna save the best for last. So that first big key is you've got to be mobile. If you're mobile as a big time thrower, you can recover quicker. You can hit deeper positions in the circle. You can hit deeper positions in the weight room. You can become more stable in, shoulder, in your shoulder joint. You can become more stable in your hip girdle. You can go, become more stable in your trunk. And when you have dynamic trunk control, now you have a little bit better ground reaction force when your right ground's in the middle. And that's something that we've done a tremendous job with, with Jeff Klein is that we focus on developing his mobility as a bigger thrower. That takes a lot of time and a lot of effort. And that's why we do full Olympic lifts. That's why we do pauses in the squats. That's why we do a lot of behind the neck jerks to help improve his thoracic extension so he maintains that mobility so he can get to that next level. That second key aspect is you've got to coordinate rapidly. Part of the throw with the shot put and the discus is it's, it comes down to rate of force development. Whoever can coordinate their muscles as rapidly as possible is going to throw the longest. That's why we love to use power-based movements. We love to use plyometrics. We love to use no feet snatches. For instance, Jeff has done no feet snatches up to 125 kilos. He's done behind the neck jerks up to 150 kilos. So he can coordinate very, very rapidly at a young age and he's trained his body how to recruit high threshold motor units and that's led to his tremendous development and his ability to throw 18 meters with a 16 pound shot at only 18 years of age. That third key aspect is you've got to develop strength. If you are strong, you have a nice base, a nice foundation, you have a large amount of muscle mass. And if you have a large amount of muscle mass, you're going to be able to utilize that muscle and strength to develop power rapidly and put it into the throw. And if you can think about back squatting 200 kilos for multiple reps like Jeff has done, or 205 kilos for multiple reps like Jeff has done, now you can take that base foundational work that you're doing with the back squat you can improve your mobility because you're squatting deep. You can then transfer that strength that you're gaining from that high bar back squat and apply it to the Olympic lifts, the movements that are gonna help you learn how to coordinate rapidly. And then over time, that strength foundation will transfer over to the circle. Jeff has bench pressed 200 kilos for reps, and that's a huge number for anybody, let alone an 18 year old. And that's been a key behind his ability to throw 18 meters. That fourth key aspect is focus on technique. So one of the biggest aspects that we found early on with Jeff is that when his mom called us when he was in seventh and eighth grade, it was, hey, 
Jeff likes to throw. We want to develop this aspect, this passion that he has for throwing. Are you willing to take him on? And it took a lot of time. When he was in middle school, he barely threw 30 feet. In ninth grade, he barely broke 37 feet in ninth grade. But we focus on technique. And by focusing on technique, we also threw heavy implements. He was throwing a 14 pound shot, a 15 pound shot at an early age to help him improve his movement. And it took a lot of time to do that, but he has a technical mindset. He has a technical mindset from the competitive movements of the Olympic lifts that we use in the weight room. He's got to move effectively from a technical perspective. And we call that at Throws University, technical literacy. So when an athlete has the ability to mentally focus on technical development in all regards, that's going to lead to long-term development of them in the circle. And that's been a big, huge breakthrough for Jeff is that he's had a technical mindset. He's throwing the 10K to help him improve his 16 pound shot. He's been throwing the 16, the 18 to help improve his 12 pound shot. And at the same time, he's been throwing lighter implements. So his body's always forced to adapt his technique to whatever that feeling is. And over time, his body becomes a little bit more technically literate. It, it learns how to hit positions with different stimuli based off of what he's holding. So throw various weighted implements, throw a lot and focus on technique. That last key factor, this is the number one key factor. This is the most important key factor behind Jeff Klein throwing 18 meters at the age of 18 and that's consistency. He's been consistent since day one, since the time he was in seventh and eighth grade, he was showing up five to six days a week. He was dealing with me, hounding him and pushing him. He was dealing with Trevor, giving him the most impressive workout programs that you could ever imagine. Trevor's been hounding him with his technique. He's been hounding him with his mobility. He's been pushing him mentally and physically in the weight room. And that has developed into this animal who throws 18 meters at the age of 18, but it takes consistency. It takes thousands upon thousands upon thousands of throws to develop into this elite style of thrower. It's not something that happens overnight. It's just like the best world-class athletes out there. The best wrestlers in the world take years to become the best in the world. The best pole vaulters take years. The best weightlifters take years. And we've got to take that perspective in the world of throwing is that it takes 10 to 20,000 throws to develop into an elite style thrower. And that's the best attribute behind Jeff Klein. And that's the number one reason why he's throwing 18 meters at the age of 18. So if you like this information and you want to learn more behind developing as a shot putter or a discus thrower, click on this link right here, head over to throwsuniversity.com, pick up a custom based program until next time, guys, peace.